All right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of this one. Wow, it's like completely shredded. Look at that. Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm back with four Dream Farm kitchen gadgets that recently arrived in my P.O. box unsolicited. It's a pretty interesting batch of products, so let's see how they work in today's video. All right, so I've done quite a few Dream Farm products in the past. Most of them are pretty interesting. Most of them I've liked, but let's look at today's four contenders and see what we got. First up is the Mini Flisk, which is a fold flat whisk. This is the Sharple, which is a peeler that also self sharpens. The Flucer, which is a fold flat juicer. And finally, it's the O Grate, which is a O shaped grater, which has two sided operation. Before I get started, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. Let's take a look at the Sharple Always Sharp Safety Peeler. This one goes for $9.95. Here it is. The claims are that it's a peeler that automatically sharpens every time you move the cover back or forth. The stainless steel blade will not rust. The handle can be used by right or left handed people. Large drain channels to ensure easy cleaning and drying also includes an eye remover right there. This is the Mini Flisk, the fold flat balloon whisk. This goes for $17.95. Goes from a balloon to flat and they have a, a couple settings here. That's setting number one, number two, no, number three. One, two, three. The claims are that it's a mini whisk that twists to create three whisks in one. Balloon whisk, sauce whisk, or flat whisk. Folds flat for easy storage. Now this is the smaller version, so it's ideal for small containers like mugs or glasses, dishwasher safe. It's time for the O Great two-sided speed grater. This goes for $16.95. It's a two-sided speed grater that is ideal for zucchini, potatoes, onions, semi-soft cheese. You can grate an up and down motion on one side or a circular motion on the other. There's a guide rim on this side, so you don't slide off the edge. A non-slip foot can keep it in place. Includes a safety cover and it's dishwasher safe. Here is the Flucer, the Fold Flat Easy Juicer. This one runs $14.95. It's by far the heaviest of all these that I've tried out. Here it is, interesting design. Very interesting, look at this. Now the claims of this uses folding action to squeeze fruit from the inside and outside for maximum juice extraction. Long handles create additional leverage. Integrated seed catcher right there. Yeah, curious how this one works. So once again, these were sent to my PO box unsolicited, so this is not a sponsored post. But I have heard of the Flucer. In fact, I was about to buy that one before the package arrived. I have not heard of the others, but I'm, they look all pretty interesting. So let me just pick one of these randomly. I'll pick the uh, I'll pick the Sharple right here. Now the Sharple looks like a regular sharpener, but every time you open and close the cover, it self sharpens. That's pretty much the uh, the idea behind it. It sounds like a sharpening. So let me pull out my, my cutting board here. I've got a few things that they actually showed in their demonstration. I've also got kind of a, a standard OXO peeler. I kind of want to see how they compare. I can't really test the sharpening long term. Maybe in a year from now, I'll let you know how that goes. But we'll see how it works as a regular peeler. Sharpen it a few times. So let me just uh, let me just start peeling here. See what we got. Oh wow, that's very, very sharp and very smooth. Wow. Honestly, it doesn't feel like it's overly well made, but that blade is sharp. Wow, that's like butter. That is just, I'm barely even, look at this, two fingers. Wow. It's a good peeler, I gotta say that. Let me try the OXO compared to that. I see the OXO, I'm, I'm doing about the same uh, pressure and it's not as good. OXO's pretty good, but I gotta use a little bit of more uh, pressure to, to get this one right. The OXO's good. This one seems better, look at this. Just very smooth, wow, okay. Oxo, same uh, amount of pressure, not quite at, as good. All right, so the Oxo is going to ride the pine for the rest of this. It was pretty good, but not, not as good. But let's give this a few more tests and see how it holds up. Let's try a carrot now. Well, that, that, that might be the best peeler I think I've ever, I've ever used. I mean, just maybe it's because it's so sharp every time you do that. I don't know, but it is extremely sharp. I'm using almost no pressure whatsoever. Very impressive. All right, let me try a potato real quick here. Now they also have an eye remover right here, so I should try that out as well. All right, once again, extremely sharp peeler. This is very nice. Let me try these eyes here now, see how that works. I guess it's... Now the eye remover is pretty standard, but the sharpness of the blade is just spectacular. I guess if it starts getting uh, dull, you can just run this over a few times. Although they say every time you use it, you're gonna open and close it, so it's gonna sharpen, self-sharpen every time you use it. So it seems, it's a great idea. I like this one. Well, let's try this zucchini here. Now, I'm barely putting any pressure at all on here. Look at this, just two fingers. 
I almost sound like a salesman because I'm so impressed by it, but I'm not a salesman. I'm just, I'm just like what I see here. It's just a very sharp peeler. So, all right. So as, as far as I'm concerned, the Sharpel is a good start to my dream farm test. We got three more to go. Let's see what's next. All right, let me try the O grate next. So take the cover off there. The cover is kind of nice, by the way. So this is set up so you can go straight across uh, on this side and in circular motion on this side. I'm gonna basically follow what they show in their demonstrations and see how it works. First up, let's try the flat side and see how that works. Now they do show it resting on the side of a bowl like that. That's why this edge here is designed this way. It can actually sit on the edge of a bowl, which is kind of nice, but I'm not gonna do that. All right, so they showed a potato on this side, which is basically supposed to go back and forth on. Let's see what we got. All right, it's, it's definitely working. It is definitely working. We have some shredded potato there. All right, let's try something a little bit more common than potatoes on a shredder. Let's try some Monterey Jack cheese here. All right, so it seems like it's working pretty well and you can go back and forth so you can, can kind of go pretty quick there. Yeah, not too bad, really. Let me try a regular grater here. Now this one you can't go back up on because the way they're laid out. You can only go one direction on this one. All right, so just comparing the two graters real quick. This is the regular grater, this is the O grate. You can see this is a little finer, but they both worked uh, pretty well. Now one feature I do like about the O grate is this little end here. It also works as a scraper. So you can uh, scrape everything off when you're done. Not a major feature, but kind of a nice little addition to it. All right, so so far the old grade just seems like a regular grader, but we haven't tried the other side yet. That's where the magic supposedly happens. Let's check it out. Now on this side, they have a, a ring around here, which prevents you from slipping off the edge and you can go in a circle continuously, which supposedly is faster than going through a normal grader. They showed a carrot there. Let's, uh, let's try it out. So you're supposed to just kind of go in a circle like this. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh, that is pretty fast. That, that is pretty quick. I mean, I'm kind of making a mess here because I'm going maybe too fast. It might be better over a bowl. Let me try. I'm going very quick. Look at this. That's pretty fast. That is pretty, I would have to admit. Let me try this zucchini here. Oh yeah. All right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of this one. Look how fast I did half that zucchini in seconds. I think I did a really good job. I think that, that that's pretty effective. You can speed grate with this thing. This one wasn't really on my radar, but I gotta say after using that circular motion, I really like this one a lot. The normal grater side is just kind of average, but this side, this is where the magic happens and I'm a fan. So next is the one I really wanted to try and that is the flucer, which I, this is the only one I've heard of before and you put the, uh, the fruit in there and you squeeze it together. That's all there is to it. It's very heavy, it feels like, Probably oh, a pound, it's very heavy. So let me get a bowl here. Just uh, start off small. I'm gonna do uh, a lime, a lemon, and an orange, see how it works. I'm also curious if this seed catcher actually works or not. So we shall see about that as well. So first up, let's insert a lime into the device itself. Oh, there's a lot of room in there. And then I'm gonna kinda ha hold an angle so you can see what I'm doing here. And then we squeeze. And we squeeze. Oh, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. And it smells like lime in here. Let me see what we got here. Wow, it's like completely shredded. Look at that. Can I get any more juice out of here? Oh, well, not really. That seemed to do pretty well, but there really weren't many seeds in there. There were no seeds that actually in there. Let me try a lemon and see what we got, because this one definitely has seeds in it. There are seeds in there. Let's see what we got. Put the lemon in the unit itself and squeeze. Oh, there's a lot of juice. Oh, something just ejected out of there. We just had an ejected seed. Where'd it go? I think it went right underneath the fridge. Watch out for flying seeds, but it does juice it very well. You're squeezing every last drop out of that. Looks like some of the seeds just stayed within the lemon itself. The seed catcher hasn't really caught anything. I had one fly across the room underneath the fridge and the rest kind of stayed inside. Time for an orange now. All right, this orange is pretty large. It kind of sticks over the top. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem or not. We shall see. Here we go. Oh, wow. You kind of have it pushing into the orange itself. Maybe that's not a problem. And it, is it does take a little bit of force. And quite a bit of that is just smashed to smithereens. Let me go through another round since I have another half lime, lemon, and orange. Let's see what we got. There's a lot of room left in there. There's a lot of play. All right, I'm gonna 
I'm going to kind of hold it at an angle so you can see the squeezing action here. It does take some force to get that squeezed, but when, once you're done squeezing, wow, it looks like it's got, it grew hair. It's, it's, there's a lot of force being used to make that happen, I think. Try the, the lemon again. Let me see. Oh, one seed just fell out of the, the lemon into the juice, but we do have a seed that's caught in the seed catcher. We have a seed. We have victory. There's also some seeds inside there, too. There are some seeds in there. Only one is in the actual catcher itself. Last uh, one is the orange, and this one fits a little better. It's not sticking over the top, so here we go. Oh, I just got, it just squirted onto my hand. All right, well, it does a great job of juicing, but there is a certain amount of force required. I had one seed eject, I got squirted in my hand, so it's not perfect, but it, it does work pretty well. I'm just curious here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we do have seeds in there. We have some seeds still. There's still seeds in the bottom, so I guess it didn't work perfectly. Let's taste this. Wow. That's, that's fresh. That is fresh. Very fresh. And finally, it's the mini flisk. This one has three positions. This is position one, position two, and position three. This kind of reminds me of the twist whisk I reviewed a while back. Uh, this kind of works similarly. This one also twists into an open or closed position, and I use this one quite a bit, actually. Uh, differences in materials and difference in sizes, but they're pretty similar otherwise. I've actually been quite happy with this one because I like the way it folds flat, and it's easier to clean in this flat configuration so hopefully this is the same way. Let me whisk a couple things and see how it goes. Now I just also point out, this is their mini version, so they kind of say this is for smaller jobs, so let's uh, focus on that as well. All right, I've got some pancake mix in a measuring cup. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but that's the way they showed it. They were showing things being mixed in small cups and bowls. That's what I kind of do here. So let me uh, unfurl this into the balloon whisk uh, configuration and see what we got. And I'm getting some batter mixed in here. Let me move down to the middle position. Maybe it won't get as stuck. It doesn't get as stuck. They were showing it going flat and then just wiping off the edges, which you can do. You can do it that way. And then go back to a more open configuration, which does seem to be working. So even if you get stuff kind of stuck in there like this, you can just go flat, wipe it off. I kind of like that. And it worked well as a whisk. It's well whisked. Let's see how easy it is just to rinse off when it's folded flat like that. Oh yeah. Much easier to clean than a traditional whisk, I would say. Very quick. Uh, they also showed eggs in a small container. Let's see what we got here. All right, it just feels like a regular whisk and it's these eggs are nicely whisked. And once again, you can just twist it into the flat configuration, rinse that off much more easily, and all the uh, material comes off. So let's recap these four items, shall we? I would say my favorite of the bunch is the round end of the O-grate. I think for speed grading, you really can't beat that. The other side's kind of a standard grader, but when you're going circular motion, that would be hard to beat. Next up, I would say I was kind of impressed with the Sharple. Now, it may not be made of the highest quality materials I've ever tried, but it might be the best peeler I've ever tried. We'll have to see how well the self-sharpening feature does over time, but first use, very impressive. Now, as far as the mini flisk goes, I, I did like it. I thought it worked pretty well. It wasn't as unique as some of the other items because I already have the twist whisk, which is similar. I'll probably use these two. This will be my small whisk. This will be my big one. On the other hand, I do like it. It's easy to clean, and I think that it worked quite well. And finally, the flucer. I think if you're looking for a manual juicer, this one does a great job. There are others out there that require no effort that are automatic. Uh, it does require a bit of effort. It doesn't always catch the seeds and sometimes things will squirt out the sides but as far as the manual juicer goes it does work but that's all i've got if you've tried any of these dream farm gadgets tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time